Okay, let's talk about one more thing that happens when the government does fiscal policy. In the long run, fiscal policy changes the composition of the economy. What do I mean by the composition of the economy? Well, let's go back and do our normal fiscal policy thing in aggregate demand, aggregate supply. Starting from long run equilibrium, the government is going to spend money to drive aggregate demand up. The government spending money generates an expansion but that expansion is unsustainable because Y1 is greater than long run aggregate supply. In the long run, what happens then is the economy adjusts by wages rising and wages again rise because the labor market is so tight. But now let's think about what those components of aggregate demand are. Here, output is unchanged. As we go from the original equilibrium to the long run equilibrium, we're moving vertically up the long run aggregate supply curve. Output is not changing. Output is not changing, but G is going up. If G is going up, it must be the case that something else is going down. What is that something else going down? Well, let's go back to our market for loanable funds. In the closed economy, we had a market for loanable funds that looked something like this. Demand for investment slopes down, national savings slopes up, right, in our loanable funds. Well, what does government spending do? Government spending, in the long run, depletes the supply of national savings. We move up to a higher interest rate than we used to be at. The interest rate is rising. The interest rate is rising and the interest rate rising discourages the amount of investment that's going on. So the government spending here is crowding out, right? We talked about this before, that there are consequences of government spending and one of those consequences of government spending is that it changes the composition of the economy. Here, G is going to go up but investment gets crowded out as the government pushes up real interest rates because when the government spends money, it's chewing up the supply of savings. Money that the government spends is money that can't be saved, at least in part, and so you get some trade-offs between different components. This suggests that if the government cares about C versus I versus G versus NX, and not just long-run aggregate supply, fiscal policy becomes really complicated. All the fiscal policy here does over in scene one is say that fiscal policy can get you back to the long run aggregate level of Y0. But we can't necessarily replace the type of output we had before. If an investment shock happened or a consumption or a net export shock happens, fiscal policy can't replace the net exports, it can't replace the investment, it can't replace the consumption. Fiscal policy only increases G. And so we can't get back to the exact same position. We can get back to the same amount of Y, but that composition of the economy is going to look different than it did before.